Minis, welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can see, this is a little bit different from my other videos, but I had quite a few requests from my lives to go through my must have mods for The Sims 4 that I can't play without. So that is what we are going to go through today. So this is our beautiful Sim, Faith, and she will be showcasing over 10 of my must have mods for The Sims 4. So before we get into the gameplay mod, I have a few creator sim mods that I would like to show you so let's hop into creator sim hey guys just before we get into the mods I want to quickly show you how to add mods and custom content to your game I've had quite a few people ask me how to do it so I thought I would just quickly pop it into the start of this video so if you aren't playing on PC or Mac you can add CC and mods to your game if you are playing on console unfortunately mods and CC don't work for console but if you do want to add them to your game if you play on pc or mac this is how you do it so you're going to go into your documents on your computer and you're going to find the electronic arts folder then you will see if you have the sims 3 like me you will see that in there as well but then you will find the sims 4 folder in the folder you will actually see that there is a pre-created folder called mods and this is where you want to add all of your custom content so i did go in and for my objects and my clothing and create a sim things I actually categorized them into different folders just to make it a little bit easier for me to find them if I need to but otherwise for all of my script mods that are most of the mods I talk about in this video they will go just directly into your mods folder so I hope this helped you guys if you have any questions please leave them down below but let's get into the video Okay, so we are in Creator Sim with Faith, and for my first mod, I'm sure you can see it yourself, but it is my cast background by Elkrez. So this is one of their amazing backgrounds that they make for Creator Sim, and as you can see, it has the mirror, which is very much Sims 2-esque, but I just love these backgrounds. It gives a bit more depth and a bit more life to create a sim, which I love. And as you can see, my sim is also not moving. So the second create a sim mod that I always, always, always have in my game is the cast standstill mod by Shimrod101. So this mod just prevents your sims from constantly moving around. They sigh or they laugh or they react if you put them in certain outfits. And I just like my sims to kind of chill there while I make them so this is a must-have mod for me so for my third creator sim mod it is actually the height slider by Lumia and this is another mod that adds so much more realism to your game so this gives you the ability to make your sims taller or shorter and this just simply works by clicking on their neck and dragging them up as tall as you would like them to be or down to be as short as you would like them to be. And I love this mod because it allows you to create sims that are actually different from one another and I love that. So as you can see my sims can be as tall or as short as I would like them to be. And my last mod for Creator Sim as you can see is the More Columns in Creator Sim by Weabazoo. And this mod simply just allows you to have more columns when it comes to the options in Creator Sim. So usually you will only have two columns and this allows you to add three, four or five columns to your creator sim and depending on your size of your screen that will depend on how many columns you can actually fit onto your screen. So you can go into settings and change the size of your UI and that will allow you to add more columns but for me I do play on a larger monitor so I have the five columns in my game and that just allows me to see all of the options without having to scroll endlessly through throughout Creator Sim, especially because I have a ton of custom content, clothing and accessories in my game. Okay, so the first mod that I want to go over is Wonderful Whims and it is very similar to the other mod that you may know called Wicked Whims, but this is a more PG friendly option. So it is perfect if you do content creation or you don't want all of those other options in your game. So Wonderful Whims adds so much to your game and I'm sure I'm going to miss some of the aspects of this mod just because it is 
so massive and it's so so amazing so on your mobile phone you can see that there is a wonderful tab and this allows you to get fertility treatments go to the tanning salon go to the wonderful store and even a period tracker so one of the aspects that i love of this mod is it allows your female sims to have a menstrual cycle which is so realistic and i think it's just so necessary for a life simulation game so with the period tracker you can see when her menstrual cycle will be when her next pms will be and even when she will be fertile so this mod actually determines when your sims will get pregnant through woohoo and you will have to follow their fertility and make sure that if you are wanting to try for a baby it is on their fertile days another thing with this mod is it allows you to go to the wonderful store and faith will be heading over to the store but i will show you the options when she gets there okay so as you can see there are quite a few options with this wonderful store and yes with this mod you can get some unfortunate side effects from woohoo as you can see there is a not so wonderful lice killing shampoo you can buy menstrual pads menstrual tampons and you can actually use birth control with this mod again it is so realistic and so necessary for a life simulation game so your sims can use birth control and they can use other forms of birth control if that is what you prefer and this will prevent your sims from getting pregnant when woohooing okay so faith has just come home and there are still a few other aspects of this mod that i want to show you so under the wonderful tab you can click on wonderful attributes and here you can give all sims wonderful attributes you can randomize it so every sim has their own attributes you can take them all away and you can give them to your specific sims so wonderful attributes come in all forms you can make it so your sims have difficulty conceiving a child you can have it so they have increased chances of conceiving a child you can alter the time of their cycle you can have them be polyamorous eternally faithful you can change options when it comes to to their attractiveness traits and preferences again so many amazing options to give you more depth in your gameplay so speaking of attractiveness preferences as you can see here is an option that allows you to actually choose your sims preferences and this comes down to what they find attractive in other sims so as you can see faith's preferred sex is male her preferred appearance is masculine it's so detailed you can choose the color of hair that they prefer and what they dislike you can choose you can choose facial hair everything that your sim will find attractive or unattractive in other sims so as you can see it is extremely detailed and it allows your sims to actually have personality and have preferences so let's go to a community lot and see how this actually determines your gameplay okay so we have made it to samai shuno to the stargazer lounge and as you guys can see it is actually pouring with rain so this is a perfect opportunity for me to show you another mod that is a must-have in my game so before i show you more about the wonderful whims mod i will quickly show you another mod on my list and it is the ui cheats extension by weirbazoo so this mod allows you to alter and change everything you see in your ui so as you can see it is terrible weather it is raining so i'm going to change that i'm going to right click on the weather down here so you can change the weather how you would like it to be so i want it to be sunny weather so i'm going to choose sunny and within a few sim minutes you will actually see that it starts to clear up so i'm just going to speed through this a little bit and as you can see the rain has already stopped and it is actually becoming clear skies so this is an amazing amazing mod but you can do so much more with it so i can add more money to the household funds if i right click on my simoleons i can type in let's say i'll type in a thousand and this allows you to set your household funds as a thousand or add that amount to your household funds so i'm going to add a thousand and as you can see she has now 34,000 simoleons another very helpful aspect of this mod is when it comes to your sims needs so as you can see faith is 
going for a swim apparently but faith is faith isn't having too much fun right now so i'm going to left click on her fun bar and it's going to raise it up all the way but if i don't want her to have that much fun i can just click halfway through and it changes it accordingly you can do this with their hunger you can raise it all over it with their hygiene with their bladder everything that you see you can alter which is absolutely incredible another thing that you can do with this mod is actually alter your sims skills so as you can see she has two cooking skill and if i right click on this skill i can then choose to set it to whatever i want it to be so let's say i want her to be level 10 of the cooking skill so as you can see she is now level 10. you can also do this with their careers so at the moment she is on level 5 of her culinary career and if i right click on this you can see that I can actually choose what level you want her to be at. So I'm going to click promote and then here it gives me the option to choose which path she wants to go through. So I will choose chef and now she has been promoted to chef. I can even do this again and now she is a celebrity chef. So this mod is essential for creating stories, creating backstories for your sims, setting sims up for gameplay it is just so essential for my game another thing you can do with this mod is alter relationships so in her relationships panel she knows agatha now and if i right click on agatha you can see here that i can completely change their relationship well let's say i want them to be 50 friendship and and 40 romance i then click run cheat and as you can see that has completely altered how their friendship and relationship is so while we are talking to Agatha here, I will be showing you my next must-have mod, and that is the Better Pie menu by Andrews. And this allows you to very easily find social interactions that you might otherwise not find. So especially with the Sims team changing the outlay of the interactions panel this mod is a game changer so let's say i want to get to know agatha i can type in get and then the get to know option just automatically pops up and then it allows me to do this interaction i can also let's say discuss and then I can just very quickly find all of the options that have the word discuss in them. So now that Faith has met Agatha, this brings us to my next must have mod in The Sims 4. And it is the first impressions mod by Limpinu. And this is when you meet a new Sim for the first time, it actually gives you first impressions. Just like in real life, it allows your sims to gather a first impression of a sim that they meet. You will not have first impressions with sims that you already know, but you will gather first impressions when you meet a new sim out in the world or wherever you may be. It allows you to have first impressions with those sims. So as you can see, Fate's first impressions of Agatha is that she is responsible and Agatha's first impressions of Faith is that she has a crush on her and that she is an interesting sim. And these actually come with a little bit of a breakdown as well. It says, it feels like love at first sight, wise, maybe, maybe not, irresistible, very much so. And you will see when playing with this mod that not all interactions or first impressions are, are positive. You can definitely have some negative ones as well. So let's come over here and meet this sim and see what their first impressions will be. So she has just met Moira and as you can see, there are some negative first impressions. So Faith finds Moira annoying and she finds Faith stuck up. And this is so realistic because it allows your Sims to start off when they meet someone and actually have a storyline when it comes to their relationship. So this is a must have for my gameplay. Another thing I wanna note is coming back to Wonderful Women and those attractiveness preferences you will see that it actually alters and determines how your sims view other sims so you can see that faith actually thinks moira is unattractive based on her preferences so while we are out and about in the city i will show you our next mod and the next mod is the simda dating app mod by little miss sam and this is essentially tinder for your sims this allows your sims to 
Go online dating and meet sims in the world rather than just hoping they are at a community lot. So this allows your sim to online date. So as you can see, there are so many preferences when you click on the option in the mobile phone. You can go on a specific date, you can go on a blind date, you can go on a female or male blind date. And there are some few other options here as well if you would like to implement that into your gameplay. But for today, let's do a specific date. So with the specific date option, it gives you all of the sims in the world that are available to date. So you can go through just like real life and choose the sim that you think you should be going on a date with. So I will quickly go through and let's just choose Marcus Flex for this interaction. So as you can see, it does give you a few options. So it, it says you should kiss your date, socialize with your date and compliment their appearance. Okay, so our date has arrived and I will do a quick introduction with him. Okay, so they do have first impressions. <laughs> they have bad first impressions. They, Faith thinks that Marcus is unreliable and he thinks that she is pretentious, but going back to Faith's attractiveness preferences, you can see that she perceives Marcus as basic looking and that is determined by the preferences that we chose for Faith previously. So you can see that it influences the gameplay and how sims interact and perceive one another. So the Simda dating app is perfect for whether you've created a sim, for your sim to meet or you just want to play with the randomness and go on a random blind date. This is an essential mod for my gameplay. So while we are here, I will quickly just throw in this little mini mod. It is the Dance Override mod by Steven Studios and it basically just alters and overrides the game's dancing and it just makes it a little bit more realistic and a little bit more in fashion and in style, if I can put it that way. It just stops your sims from dancing a little bit crazy and makes them a little bit more realistic. So I thought I would just quickly throw this mod in here. Okay, so we have made it back home and we are on to the next mod. And the next mod is the Healthcare Redux by A Deep Indigo. And this mod does require Get to Work, but there is also a base game option if you don't have the Get to Work pack. But this mod essentially adds medical condition and healthcare services to The Sims 4. So as you can see, accessing the app through the mobile phone, you can go to the doctor, you can visit an allergist, go to a specialist, visit the sports clinic. You can go to an acupuncturist, go to the hospital, get vaccinated, donate blood, order from the online pharmacy, which I will quickly show you. You can see that is all really realistic. You can get vitamins, cough medicine, children's medicine, anything that is realistic and in real life, you can get on here. So you can get health tonics, ibuprofen, paracetamol, mole anything that your sim may require is in this mod and i will insert a screenshot for you now but this mod includes so many realistic aspects when it comes to medical conditions and healthcare services so you can actually have your sims get new deadly diseases and if they go untreated your sims can actually pass away you can get infectious viral and bacterial diseases you can have new chronic conditions such as anemia, anxiety, asthma, arthritis, migraines. Your sims can also have diabetes. They can have injuries that are sustained randomly or through exercise. You can have surgery required complication and medical emergencies. This mod can also affect your sims pregnancies and cause complications when it comes to the pregnancy. It is all just so realistic and it gives your game that real life aspect of medical situations, complications, medical conditions and I just love this for my sims because it's realistic, it's how life is and I think that's what a life simulation game should have in the base game anyway. So this is another mod that I love in my game. And for my final mod, it is the Let's Get Fit mod by Sebsid Creation. And this mod adds so many more interactions when it comes to exercise and working out for your sims. 
so it comes with quite a few more objects and animations for your sims to work out and it does increase their fitness level and it just adds so much more realistic aspects to working out in the sims you can use the dumbbells you can work out with the squat rack as you can see this mod just adds so many more options for your sims to work out at home or you can add these options to the gym it also comes with these exercise bikes that are stationary and i just i adore these interactions they are smooth and they fit into the game perfectly as you can see it just looks so fluid and i am obsessed with this mod i use it for all of my sims when they go to the gym or when they work out at home but as you can see the interactions are just so amazing it comes with so many options for decoration and different different objects for your sims to use this is also one of the objects that your sims can use for a bench press but as you can see the animations are just so smooth and done so well and this is a must-have mod for my game so yeah that was my 10 plus must-have mods for the sims 4 i still have a ton of mods in my game so if you want to see more please let me know in the comments down below and let me know if you use any of these mods as well these were my top 10 most used mods in my game i always find myself going for them using their interactions adding them into my game so thank you so much for watching i really appreciate all of your support if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below if you want to follow me on tiktok i post very very frequently on there and i also have my tumblr linked down below with all of my most used custom content and mods linked on there but if you can please leave a purple heart in the comments if you've made it this far and otherwise i will see you in the next one